Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I am an old guy gaming, and uh, we are ready to start, or, or just about ready, I should say, uh, to start the actual mission here uh, to locate exotics. So I've been grinding uh, my little old guy butt off, and as you can see, we've got a material processor now. We have an electric furnace, um, and I have already made a whole mess of uh, composites here, as you can see and other things so that we can get the gear that we need uh, to do this mission and then hopefully have some stuff left over to uh, make some composite arrows too. Um, I've already got quite a few, I got 100 rifle rounds and 82 buckshot shells. We do have the hunting rifle and then the shotgun there. Um, so we're good to go on that. So let's see, what we need to do for the mission is we need to make this radar. So let's make that first. Boom, that's done. And we also need to make an extractor. Uh, so it looks like we need one more electronic and 20 iron ingots. As you can see, I've got a bunch of iron ingots. Uh, we don't have a bunch of copper, though, because I've spent most of it trying to make that doggone uh, those electronics there. Okay, so we got that. And then we need one more electronic. So what are we missing? Some refined gold. Um, Here we go. We got a little bit of refined gold there. And let's just make one of these. All right. Okay, now we should be able to make the extractor. So let's do that next. And okay, so we got those two pieces. Does this go? Yeah, I guess that goes in there. Uh, wait a second. How am I supposed to carry both of these? Uh, Houston? So is it a deal where I have to put this down first and then carry this to the spot? I'm guessing that's probably what I have to do. Okay. Um, does it show us on the map where we need to do that? Okay, so it says use the radar and map screen to locate exotics deposits. So does that mean I can just set it down anywhere? No, because this thing you have to, you have to have a spot to place it. Well, maybe you don't. Hold on. Let's just set it down and see what happens. Okay, doesn't appear to be happening or anything happening. So I'm guess I'm gonna have to go find a specific location that it wants me to put it. Like every time, every other time I've used this device in these quests, there's a spot it wants me to place it. So that means we're not gonna be able to take this and the drill at the same time. We're gonna have to go do this first and then come back and get the drill once we locate it, I think. Because it doesn't appear like I can put this device in my inventory. It has to go in the G slot. Man, why is the damn mask or map so slow? Yeah, see, it won't go in there. Ah, all right. Well, it looks like we're going to have to make multiple trips then. If that's the case, then that is the case. My game seems kind of laggy today. I don't know why. Huh. The map especially. Yeah, maybe it'll improve. I don't know. Okay. Well, so we've got the the devices uh, that we need for this mission. So we'll, I guess we'll just leave the extractor here. Now let's make some, some of our top-end equipment. Uh, I definitely want to make the boat. So that is going to happen no matter what. And look at that, you guys. We've got a compound bow now. It is a beautiful thing. Love this compound bow. Okay. Um. <coughs> excuse me. Gazoom tight. All right. So we don't need to um, carry this around anymore. I'm going to keep it as a backup just in case something bad happens. You never know. Okay. So we got that done. Now, I do have fur armor made up. But what I'm thinking I'd like to do is make the, the composite armor 
and wear that unless a storm comes in and then we switch to the fur armor. Because I think we'll probably, maybe not, but we'll, we might be able to handle the Arctic without a storm just wearing this and it's just going to give us that much more protection. Plus it's badass. Um, so yeah, those are our, our reasons. All right, so let's go ahead and make this stuff. I should have enough material to make it all. If not, we'll grind out whatever ever else we need. Not, we are short just a few composites. Okay, that's fine. We should be able to make a couple more of those. Uh, so we need uh, four more to finish this, but I also want some extra to make some arrows too. So if we come over here, we're going to need more silica to make a little bit more composite paste. Oh, I got composite paste in here already. And more composites. Oh, so we're in good shape. Why isn't this on? That's running and it has fuel. It says it doesn't have power. Oh, it's just turned off. I don't remember turning that off when I logged out. Maybe that just happens automatically when you log out. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we we got this. All right, so let's make these. And we will put these on. So, looks like I have to... Can I control click these off? Yeah. And then we'll... Uh... There we go. All right, cool. So we got our composite armor on. Very, very badass looking. Look at us, man. Uh, now we need to get the high-tech arrows for our high-tech bow. And then we're going to be Mr. High-Tech. Uh, okay, so we can make 12 of, uh, 10 of those right now. And I'd like... Uh, wait, what are we short? Oh, screws. Yeah. All right. Let's um make some more screws. And then uh, we can make two more of those. Now these arrows here are a 5% projectile break chance, which is very, you know, obviously very low of a chance for them to break. So um we should we should be able to recover these arrows almost all the time. All right, so now we got our composite arrows, the best arrows in the game. We'll keep our aluminum arrows as backups. And I think that's pretty much it. We'll let this go ahead and make more composites and some extra steel in case we need it for something else. Uh, but we're in good shape. So there is one last thing we need to do. Excuse me for just a moment. I gotta blow my nose. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry, I had to do something in real life there for a minute, in addition to blowing my nose. <laughs> so, um, what were we talking about? Let's see. We were... Oh, yeah, we got to... I, I want to make um, a shelter, uh, our usual shelter that we've been using every time we go to the Arctic. So we need to set the masonry bench down here. I just come up with a couple of quick pieces for that. Uh, so let's see, you're going to need stone. Do I have any stone in here? You are going to need leather, so let's grab some leather. Oh, and before I forget, we definitely want to take our fur with us, of course, and probably a bedroll. Uh, we don't need the leather armor any longer, so we'll put that in there. Uh, we don't need those. That's my, my thatch ramps for, for mining. Get into those ores that are in a bad spot uh, or in a, a spot I can't reach. Uh, thatch is good for that because it's very light. So there. So if somebody tells you thatch is, isn't good for anything, that's not true. That's not entirely true. It's mostly true. But not entirely true. Anyway, um, I digress. Let's put that back in there and make sure it's refueled. Okay, so let's see. We need some stone. Um, do I have any stone in here? I do not. We're going to need some nails. Uh, so we have nails and a little bit of wood there. So we might have to go farm up some stone. I have, well, I have a little bit there. I don't know if that's going to be enough to make the pieces that we need to make. Let's just see what happens here. 
Uh, so we'll put all that in there. All right, so we're going to need two of these. Uh, no, actually, we need one of these. And then we need a roof piece. And then four walls. How many of these can we make? Two. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to go nab just a little bit more stone. I'm sure that's what it is, right? Maybe a little more stone and wood. So, uh, oh, you know what? Let's sleep, too. Should not leave my front door open. Okay. Got a good night's rest there. All one second of it. So let's just uh, grab one tree and cut a little bit of stone. Doesn't have to be a lot. Okay, so let's put this in there and that in there. And make two more of these. And that should be good for our, uh, our shelter pieces. We are going to also want to make um, a campfire to take with us and have a stack of wood. Let's do that. Okay, I want that stuff there. We don't need to take. We got a stack of wood up here. Oh, we don't need to take the nails either. Okay, so I think I guess we could just leave this here. There's no, it's not really in the way. I think that's everything we need to get going here. Um, let's put this in here and make sure we have a full stack of food in our inventory. Uh, we need to make some more fish curry. So, let's see here. We got raw fish there. And <clears throat> I'm going to be uh, low on, on uh, this stuff, soybeans. But, let's just... We can make three more anyway. That'll be enough, at least for our first trip out. And then before we make our second trip out, I'll make another larger batch of this stuff. Okay, so we've got um, that fish curry. Let's put, uh, or let's grab those and we'll put the remaining raw fish back in the fridge for now. All right, let's double check and make sure we've got everything that we need to have. Okay, so we've got, uh, oh, for f food, let's also grab a stack of creamed corn. There we go. Okay, so we got our food. We've got our set of fur armor. Um, <clears throat> we've got our shelter pieces. We've got a fire. We've got a damn flash storm. Uh, we got a stack of wood, a fireplace, full ammo, and the scanner thingamadoodle. We got some bandages here, some health uh, food for healing right here, and we have two fresh lanterns right there. So I think we're ready to go. But what I'm going to do, you guys, um, before are you done doing your stuff? Yeah. Let's turn off the generator. Save some fuel. In fact, let's just refresh this can. Um, I'm going to actually log out of the game and restart, probably restart my machine because things seem to be really laggy today for some reason. Let's see if that doesn't maybe help. And then, of course, we have to wait out this flash storm before we take off, too. So I'll see you guys um, when the storm is over and we're ready to go. All right, guys, we are back and let's rock and roll. So we're going to head up to the Ar Arctic here. Um, excuse me. Goodness gracious. There's something definitely bothering my sinuses today. <laughs> um, yeah, the game seems to be running nice and smooth now. I don't know what the hell is going on. I just basically rebooted my whole system. 
Um, so yeah, we're gonna go up this way, and I guess we just get into the Arctic at some point. Saul will update us with a position on where we set this thing so we can do the scan, and then once we do that, we come back, get the drill, and then go back up there again. I mean, I think that's what's gonna happen. Um, I've never, you know, watched anybody else do this on YouTube or anything like that, so it's a, a new experience, man. Looking forward to it, though. Oh, there is one thing that I forgot because, you know, I always forget something. Uh, we need to make a repair hammer. I have an iron repair hammer. Um, but I forgot to bring it. So we're going to just make a, a cheap-ass wood one for now. All right, so I haven't actually been into this Arctic biome very far. I've been a little ways into it. There's a lot of wolves here. I haven't been, like, all the way into it. Like, you know, we've been on uh, across the entire southern glacier a few times now. Um, so I don't imagine this one's going to be really any different. Other than that there does seem to be more wolves in this one. Um, so, yeah, let's just see what happens here. We have our uh, composite armor on, so we'll have to just watch our temperature. And if it gets, um... Uh, if it gets to be too, too much, then we'll, um, you know, put our fur armor on. I don't think I'm going to harvest any critters, um, with maybe the exception of a couple, couple polar bears to get some prime meat. Uh, we just don't need any of that stuff right now, so I'd rather focus on the quest. Let's try out our new arrows here. You dead, man. You are toast. Toastified. We won't kill any wolves that aren't in our path. Yeah, this bow is just a beast. Definitely want to recover our arrows. Oh wow, can't believe that didn't kill him. Of course, I didn't really get a good lethal shot there. Get out of here. Give me my arrow back, dude. Okay. So, let's look at the map again. I mean, there's nothing... that I can see on here that's telling us go here. So, I can only assume it'll pop up, you know, when the time comes. Yeah, there's a lot more wolves in this bi this Arctic biome than uh, the Southern Glacier. They're all over the place. Good place to come and level, though. Okay, we do have um, the cold debuff. But I think we can handle that as long as it doesn't get worse. They seem, the wolves seem to have a, a longer aggro range too, um, in this, uh, biome. Maybe it's just because they can see further. That seems to be the logical reason for it. Oh, there's a snow leopard. Look at that, man. I've only killed one of those on a quest, not just out in the wild. There we go. Well, now we've killed one out in the wild. Do these guys give, like, a special kind of pelt or anything, or prime meat, maybe? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, we can cross that one off the bucket list. Kill a snow leopard. Not that that was on my bucket list, but... <laughs> I guess we need to fix our little bleed problem here. Yeah, man, those guys really have a long aggro range, don't they? Let's avoid them if we can, just because we don't need more XP. There's a cave. Uh, I'm starting to see frost on the screen. We might want to switch to the other armor. Wait a minute. Are there no polar bears in this biome? I haven't seen a single one yet, and usually I would have seen a couple by now in the southern glacier. How deep is this? It's pr probably enough to get you a good sprain. 
Anything showing up on the map? Not yet. We got a snow bunny. It's a little bit larger crevasse there. Crevasse, crevice, however you pronounce that. I've actually heard it both ways. A little bit of lag as stuff probably loads in. Frozen Traveler 2. Travel 25 kilometers total in the Arctic. Nice. Well, um... <clears throat> I guess we just keep... Keep on keeping on until we figure out what the hell's going on here. Did something just aggro us? I don't know. And another snow leopard. So I guess there's snow leopards instead of polar bears in this this one. An exotic evasive predator of the ice. Okay. Does he have a chance for prime meat since he's an exotic predator? Let's just look. Not that one. I hear another exotic evasive predator. I don't see him though. Well, okay, it looks like there's two routes to go here. Um, so let's go this southern route first, and if that doesn't yield anything, we'll turn around and go this other direction. Wolves all over the place. All right. Actually, before we go any further, let's try something. Um, let's just set this down. And try a random scan here. I just heard some large leopard-like creature growl, but I don't see the large leopard-like creature. Oh, here he comes. Maybe that attracts animals, eh? Another one? Alright, give me my arrow. So I guess this attracts critters, eh? No prime meat. Wait for him to charge. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that, damn it. Oh! It found something. Um, something right here, I guess. Kind of hard to see because it's right by the J-12, but yeah, there's something there. Okay. So, that explains why we didn't get a, uh, a go here marker because you just do it randomly. Arrow? Eh, right there. Okay, well, let's pick this thing up because it appears to continue attracting critters. 
<coughs> and I probably I accidentally shot one of my arrows over here. There's probably no way I'm ever gonna find it. <laughs> Those arrows are expensive, man. It sucks, but it is what it is, right? Okay, yeah, let's not waste time on that. Okay, so we've got um we've got a thing here now. So it looks like this circle must be the range that the scanner thing works in. So that's good to know because next time I do this, I will, um, I'll try, you know, so I should have scanned maybe right here and then done a scan here too. In fact, we could do that on the way back because we have to go back and get our thing anyways. So yeah, okay. Let's, let's do that. So we'll go back. Um, what we'll do is we'll go back to about here-ish. Maybe right about here. And we'll do another scan. There you are. Man, man these wolves are just relentless. You know, I should start using my gun. I mean, I... I went to all that trouble to make it, thinking we were going to need it for polar bears. <laughs> we don't have to worry about recovering arrows or anything. Let's just shoot these bastards. You know what else we forgot to do? We forgot to make heat bandages. All right. We're going to need to get this on. Damn it. That was a mistake. Okay, hold on. I guess we have to take these off first. Arms. Feet. Feet. There. Okay, we're just going to have to tough this one out um, until it wears off, but the first should hopefully prevent us from getting it again. Snow bunnies. Problem with having such a large hold still, damn it! Having such a large magazine on this weapon takes a long time to reload. All right, let's fix our bleed. Got a lot of critters out here. One way to deal with them are them bastards. Guess we could have also come out here with 
really cheap arrows and a really good bow and we'd still one shot everything. Then we don't have to worry about recovering the arrows. Okay, let's come to right about here-ish. And do another scan and see if we can find something that's a little closer than the first one. Of course, we're going to go after all of them. Press to interact. Too close to previous scan. Oh, okay. Well, that's good it does that. At least it tells us. All right, let's go a little further this way. Uh, is that cave nearby? We could just cave up instead of building the shelter. All right, let's try it right here. Okay. Scan for a bit, kill the animals as they come in, and then when the storm gets into the yellow part, we'll run into that cave. I heard a growl from somewhere. Here he comes. Yeah, you know, the rifle makes this easier just because then I don't have to go try and recover a very expensive arrow kind of idea. <laughs> If you're going to find something, you better find it quick. If I think if I leave this out here by itself, it probably will get damaged. You know what though? Whatever, let's just go. If it gets if it gets damaged, it gets damaged. We don't technically need it for any more of this mission, though I would like to get some more exotics if we can. Did it turn off? Oh, do I have to stay within range of it? Oh, scan complete. Okay. Oh, nice. It did find some more. Okay. Oh, no, it didn't find more. It's just telling me to move in this direction. Oh, interesting. Okay. We'll figure this out. All right, we better get in this cave and get a fire down. Because we are getting cold. Let's get our lantern on our inventory. Wow. Look at that. Alright, are we considered under shelter here? You'd think so. Let's put our fire down. <coughs> yeah, we are because we don't have any expo the exposure bar. Interesting cave. There's some mushrooms too, actually. Look at that. Um, how far down does that go? We would need... We would need to have, um... You know, more structures to build platforms to get to all that stuff. Alright, well, I'm just gonna sit here and wait out the storm. And then, what I'll think... What I think I'm gonna do, guys, is... I might do one more scan over here just to see what it does. And then I'm going to go back to the base, get our drill, and then we'll come back in and drill. So I probably won't bring you back until we get back down to the actual exotics with our drill. Unless, of course, something uh, camera-worthy happens between now and then. Okay, so I'll see you guys uh, when we get back to the deposit. All right, guys, we are back at the site. So here it is right here. All right, cool. Play some interesting music there. Um, let's get our food 
a buffs refreshed here and then we're going to select G and pop the drill down. Very cool. Uh, put some biofuel in the drill and there it goes. All right, so um, I don't know how long this takes. I guess does it like drill until it runs out of fuel or well, I guess we'll wait and see. Um, so fully mine an exotics deposit. Okay, so we have to fully mine this and Okay, cool So it doesn't appear that anything's gonna attack us while we're doing this so I guess what I'll do is Wait until it's done <laughs> and then bring you guys back how heavy is this stuff? That's that's one kilogram right there. Yeah, we might end up having to to ditch a couple of things on the way back if we can't carry all this, but we'll see how things go. All right, well, I'll bring you guys back when this is done, or unless something crazy happens between now and then. Okay, guys, I'm back, and oh my goodness, this is taking a long time. Um, so I've almost filled up a. Uh, seeing if any wolves are coming in. I've almost filled up an entire drill with one biofuel cam, but it's not quite full. So what we're going to do um, is if we take all of those exotics right now, I think what I'm going to try and do is pick this up and put it in a storage bin inside of this chest and go make another one. Um, and see if we can get two of these going. The thing is, though, is if I do that and there's a blizzard, it could... Um, it might not work. I don't think I can leave it here because wolves seem to come and attack this. Um, and I accidentally lost my, my roof on this, too, uh, during the last storm. Because this has taken a million bazillion years, and so I was kind of semi-AFK what was all going on so I guess I have a couple of options here I could just I could leave this here and hope it doesn't maybe they won't attack it if it's not running um, or I could leave it here running with fuel in it and see if I can get back before it gets attacked and then go back and get more fuel and make another drill and drop all these exotics off in the meanwhile um, I don't know if I have to have these with me, though, is the thing. So, yeah, I'm not, I guess I'm not really sure what the best course of action here is, but, I mean, I'm going to need more food. If this is going to take even longer, um, I'm going to need more food and everything else, too. So, yeah, the, I had no idea this was going to take so damn long. So, I will figure out, I, you know, this is not that expensive to make. Um, so what I'm thinking is we leave it here, we put the fuel in, let it keep going while I run back. And if we lose it, we lose it. And, you know, we're not out a ton of resources. If we can manage to get back here and we still have it, you know, then we can get to two going at the same time. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so let's take and put this other can in here. Now I know sometimes it'll attract wolves, but, um... You know, it is what it is. I don't think I can do much about that right now. Uh, so I'm going to take this meat here. I'm going to deactivate the fire. Make sure it's got a full thing of wood. And just put this in place. If we happen to hit a storm on the way out, I'll just duck into that cave. And hopefully all of that will, will hold up. And then, yeah. Um... Hopefully I don't have to keep this in my inventory to finish the quest, but I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to actually just keep it with me. Uh, we don't need the composite chest armor, so I'll drop that off back at the house. And, yeah, go from there. All right, so I'll bring you guys back with an update uh, as we uh, progress through this quest. Oh, my goodness, it's taken so damn long. All right, guys, I am back. Um... I was actually running back to the base again uh, because what I was going to do was get 
the uh, biofuel um, composter and bring it out here. And I was just right up to that corner, about ready to go around the bin, and I got the message that we finished. So as you can see, I did run another one of these out here. Um, so let's just grab all of that. Um, I don't think we need to take those because we're done. Uh, we just have to bring all of these these exotics back with us. So uh, we're just going to have to lighten up a little bit. 139, 125. So, okay, we don't need that. Guess we don't need the bedroll or that. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I'd like to keep this with me, actually, because if we have to stop at the cave, we should have that, and we want to sleep the night. So what are we going to give up? We are done with our axe. We are done with our pick. Oh, man. That doesn't get us much back, does it? Okay, you know what? Then screw those things. Let's just run, and hopefully we can make it back before... <laughs> We have to sleep. So, yeah. Um, let's talk about what I would have done different. Or what I will do different if I ever do this mission again. Um, I probably will do it again on multiplayer, but solo... Boy, I don't know. I, I mean, I did enjoy the mission. I love the grind. You know, getting up to tier 4, making all the stuff. That I thoroughly enjoyed, but this part of it was just a pain in the butt. So let's see. First thing I would do next time is build my base right on the edge of the snow biome. And then I would probably also plan on building a smaller base, but you know, more than probably a one by one, probably maybe a, a two by one or even a two by two um, at the extraction site so that I could then bring some equipment with me, you know, like the fuel, uh, you know, the biofuel extract or composter and maybe even the fabricator out here so I could, you know, make the second drill on site kind of thing since you can only carry one. Uh, or even make both of the drills on site um, and then just carry the radar thing out here. But, you know, the thing is, I, this is the first time I've done this mission, as I've mentioned. I had, didn't watch anybody else do it, and I didn't know what to expect. So, um, yeah, I know, know better next time. And uh, so, yeah, overall, I enjoyed the mission, like I said. Uh, but... It was pretty long and pretty grindy, and just, you know, the whole AFK business at the end there was uh, kind of a pain in the butt. Not to mention that I did have to make multiple trips back and forth, but here again, that's just because I wasn't, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. And that's the, you know, that's the downside to doing some of this stuff blind, but I'm okay with that because... I'm here to enjoy the game and discover it for the first time, because once I discover it for the first time, I'll never have that opportunity again. All right, here we are. So... Well, friend, you done down there? Sure looks like it from here. I am, Saul. I don't know if I'm supposed to put this stuff in the, these slots or keep it in my inventory or what, but... Um, yeah, let's do it. Exotic matter, an impossibility in your hands. Previously believed to exist only in the heart of stars, the most common form of exotics, Alanthium has permitted extraordinary leaps in low temperature superconductors and high density power storage. Very cool. Open the, okay, so I don't know if we just take this or all of it. Hopefully we can take all of it and then, you know, we get stuff for it. But let's go home. Whew. Okay, there's our accolades, which I kind of don't really care about because I don't think they do anything for us other than just pat ourselves on the back for killing 500 snow wolves or whatever. <laughs> I don't really care about that kind of stuff so much, unless it gives us something, you know. All right, Ooh So let's select our character. So we... So we don't get any money for this, we just get exotics instead? Oh no, we got money too, okay. Nice, okay guys, look at that, 192 exotics. Look at us and our bad selves. 
All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here, and then we'll start the next episode, and we'll decide what our next prospect will be and go from there. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.